guys and welcome to day 29 of Loon. We are completely totally at the end of Loon and I gotta say at some level I'm really excited. I'm excited that I'm going to be completing the entire month when I was a little worried that I would not be able to do it. And yeah, I do need a break from vlogs a little bit. But a lot of you guys have been commenting that you all will be very sad when food gets over and it's absolutely breaking my heart. So please know again that I will try to vlog as much as possible in July too. I think in the first week of July I will need a break because this has been pretty taxing. But after that I will continue uh, to do vlogs as often as I can. Both of my cats are just up here at the back of the chair. They're fighting and hitting each other. Now a lot of you guys like Tiny Girl. Even I like Tiny Girl, Brittany. But I have to tell you all, she's the biggest bully alive. Even when we brought her home as a kitten and these two boys were already kind of fully grown, we were worried that they would attack her in the beginning. They would be very aggressive towards her. They were a little upset but they weren't aggressive towards her. She was aggressive towards them. She was a tiny kitten just picked up from the street, a girl, and she would just go up to them when she had just come and like hit them on the faces for no reason. Just like watch yourselves, I'm the queen here. A Brittany is the biggest bully in the house and she twists everyone else around her little finger. My mum loves her so much, she doesn't even want to admit this, but it is a fact. She is quite dangerous, <laughs> but everybody loves her. The other two cats love her and we love her as well. Just thought I'll tell you guys a little bit about their personalities. So today has been a weird day. It's already 5.29. I think I woke up about, about two hours ago. The reason I woke up so late is because I went to sleep at 7 in the morning. When most people are waking up, I went to sleep. I couldn't sleep last night. I just was tossing and turning, like just bored. And the main thing was, I was ready to sleep. I was a little sleepy. And then I read um, this article about this YouTuber called Lacey Green. And she used to be a feminist YouTuber. She used to be someone who talked about women's rights and sex education and just good interesting stuff like that and she is one of the more prominent feminist youtubers apparently I'd never really watched her channel that much I just knew her from when like we were in a video for YouTube together like we didn't shoot it together we all shot our parts wherever we lived but YouTube cut a video together with different women from around the world um, saying stuff so I was part of that video and she was also part of it. That's why I knew who she was. But it's really sad because she was someone that fought for these kind of causes and she started dating a men's rights activist. And she completely changed her tune. She has 1.5 million subscribers and now she's completely done a 180. She's saying that uh, social justice warriors are just twisting facts and she's saying that um, harassment on the internet doesn't really exist people are blowing things out of proportion which is sad because harassment on the internet is so very real for women especially women who talk about controversial topics and fight for rights and she herself has faced so much harassment in the past and for her to backtrack like that, it's really depressing. So I came across this article in my Facebook feed. It was very well written from a neutral point of view. And it just gave a little bit of history to this whole controversy. It gave context. Uh, it gave a lot of links. So by the time I started reading them, while I was in bed, shouldn't have done that. By the time I finished reading the whole article, my mind was so stimulated. I could not get sleep. So I just woke up, uh, went to the computer, edited a vlog, finished another TV show and then got to sleep in the morning, then just woke up. So today I'm just at home 
and my ear still hurts so I'm not going out anywhere and it's a dull day outside. I'm sure you can see that it looks rather grey. Instead of just sitting with my tea, I thought I will set my camera down and chat with you guys a little bit on various topics because I am a very very opinionated person and I can I can talk and talk and talk and talk and talk. I can talk so much. I just can't talk when I'm around new people. But when I'm around people I know and trust, I can go on for days. So I'm just going to be eating some biscuits. Uh, the McVitie's fruit shortcake biscuits. You can get these in India but they are imported from UK I think. They're quite tasty. We sit. I'll eat. I'll drink. Hopefully you guys will eat and drink. Grab a snack or a drink. Let's just chat about stuff. I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. But I'm just going to start. So I discovered this new Netflix TV show. It's not really a Netflix show. But I think Netflix partially produces it or something. It's a British show called Chewing Gum. Heard many good things about it at some point one or two years ago when it first came out but I didn't have access to it because it was a British show and in India if you want a TV show most of the time in the past we had to just use torrents I haven't torrented in many many years now in two or three years since I first discovered Netflix existed and then I discovered Amazon Prime Video existed I'm really happy with these two things and I don't want to waste my energy or time or bandwidth torrenting TV shows. So I'd come across Chewing Gum and I wanted to watch it but I didn't know where to watch it. Luckily guys it's on Netflix in India. You can see it if you'd like. It is kind of a risque show. It's rated I think I think 18 plus and I was like oh this show aired on British television like how bad is it going to be? What's going to be explicit in it but it is pretty explicit and I'm really surprised that that stuff can be shown on a British television but that's not the point the point is it's this show written by this then 24 year old girl called Michaela Coel and she also plays the main character in the show and it's basically a, you could say a coming of age sex comedy but what's different what sets this apart from other sex comedies is that most of those are told uh, very much from a male perspective and you know it's just about sleeping with women this one is a sex comedy told uh, from a female perspective and it's really really refreshing in that sense so it talks about this girl she's had a really religious upbringing, uh, very cloistered, so she doesn't really know about the real world that much. And um, she has a boyfriend, but they haven't done anything. And he's also a closeted homosexual, he's also gay, which happens a lot in the church. So one day she realizes she's 24 years old and she's still a virgin, which apparently is a big deal to be 24 and a virgin in the UK not a big deal in India and she wants to sleep with a guy she just basically wants to lose her virginity so it's really funny how she goes about it and it's also very very endearing I really enjoyed watching the show British shows are weird in the sense that they don't have full seasons so season one just had six episodes and season two just had six episodes and between yesterday and this morning I finished both seasons it was lovely and if you don't have any problem with swearing and nudity I would recommend it but seriously there is nudity so just be careful who you're watching it around uh, and all that but it's really a nice comedy I've also been thinking about where I want to travel this year because that comes up a lot and you guys ask me stuff about it so honestly I decided that I don't want to travel anywhere abroad for the rest of this year. Main reason, reason numero uno for that is that I bought my drone and uh, drones are such an issue in India. 
so I can fly it in India but I can't take it abroad because I would risk it getting confiscated at customs here. So I want to go somewhere in India where I'll be able to use my drone and that rules out cities for me just uh, because flying a drone in a city would be a risky thing so I would need to look at locations that are more secluded that have open spaces and just where people are chill so I could get some cool drone shots without people worrying so one thing that I really 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 want to do is I want to go back uh, to Goa uh, maybe sometime in November or December because that's the time where the Goan climate is really pleasant it's not pleasant for most of the year otherwise it's quite hot but in the winter it's really pleasant and I want to go to my native village uh, stay in my ancestral home for a bit if they'll have me and I uh, just go and take some drone shots around there because that's a place that's very close to my heart and I've been dreaming of going there with a drone since before I had my drone so now I was like I really want to do all the things I've done there I want to like go to the fields I want to go to the chapel on the hill even though I'm not religious it's just such a serene place and I also want to take my drone there so that's one place where I hope I will be going I'm really open to suggestions uh, for where else to travel in India uh, especially South India I really like traveling in South India and I do want to go to the Northeast as well I've been thinking about going to Darjeeling I've been thinking about going to Gandok in Sikkim but I was just looking up like airports and stuff and it's kind of still a little complicated for me to reach there so South India is a little more accessible like that it's really easy to go there so I've also been thinking of going to Coimbatore and Uti again because I've gone there a few times most watch video on this channel is my Uti vlog I would go back but maybe I'll go there next year if you guys have any more suggestions in India for places where I could and where I should travel places where you've liked I would like it to be a clean uh, place something interesting to see it should be kind of safe so that rules out the whole of UP Bihar area please don't suggest those areas to me I will definitely not be going there but anywhere else where you guys would think it would be nice let me know because I really want to plan out some fun trips another thing that I sort of wanted to talk about is questions that I've been getting related to what I eat and related to fitness like my personal fitness basically I think you guys have been seeing in Bloon that I don't eat very healthy and I've always said that I don't eat very healthy I don't try to mislead you guys and I had been getting requests to do videos of what I eat in a day but I don't eat healthy so I never wanted to make them but based on popular requests I started including what I eat in my balloons and you guys are surprised you guys are like how are you eating so many samosas and staying thin so I tried talking about that topic just now but I ended up rambling on for so long maybe I will talk more about it someday when my thoughts are better collected but basically I eat really badly please don't use me as any kind of an example on how to eat uh, regarding my body I have a naturally skinny body type all throughout school and college I was very 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 skinny like US size double zero skinny like UK size 6 would slide off my body skinny and I don't think ASOS used to sell UK 4 then they do now but I would have been a UK 4 then right now I go between UK size 8 to 10 depending on what the garment is sometimes I'll want it a little looser I'll go for a 10 most of them I am an 8 though so that's just how things are right now the thing is that everyone's body type is so incredibly different and I had a skinny childhood my mother was very very skinny when she was young and 
her mother was also very skinny so that's just something that's genetic and everyone is not going to be the same i think genetic plays such a large part on our body type so basically i don't work out and i eat a whole lot of crap i should be working out more i should be eating better but i'm just sort of lucky or blessed in the sense that it's not showing up all of the junk that i'm eating is not showing up so much and i know i know that i should be taking eating clean and fitness more seriously i absolutely know that but until then i want to tell you guys please don't follow my example please don't this biscuit is not that unhealthy though this is nice fruit shortcake biscuits pretty good when you try to act really fancy for a drinking shot in your vlog and then you don't even swallow the drink properly and it goes down the wrong pipe that happens i'll now show you guys today's amazon deliveries that just arrived delivery number 1 which i just removed from this box is another one of the paper boat thandai tin which has four of these thandai packets inside i think this must be my fifth or sixth tin i bought so many of these and the reason is my mom ended up really liking the thandai and my dad ended up really liking the tins so i just kept on buying them i think my mom is really bored of these now but my dad still likes the tins i think there's something else in this box yes there's another soft drink it's the paper boat armrest basically if you like mango drinks if you like mango la slice i can't think of any other names and you've got to try the paper boat armrest because it's the best mango drink there is it's so thick it's just so thick and it's yummy so please try this this season they came out with another drink called alfonso mango and alfonso mango is supposed to be the best mango available in india what i didn't even try that drink because i saw the reviews they were so bad it was so bad so don't go for alfonso mango um it got really bad reviews but try out their basic amras because it's very good so now i'm going to open a big big floppy envelope from amazon i don't know what's inside already though because i ordered it it's something that i hopefully is going to be really useful for me in baking and in cooking i finally ordered a silicon baking mat it's a mat and it's made of silicon and it's a little staticky right now i don't know the dimensions of this uh it's pretty big though and this is useful in baking whenever you are baking anything be it cookies be it a pie and you want to roll out dough this is the surface on which you can roll the dough out this is the surface with which you can just like it's a nice clean hygienic surface it's big and dough will not stick to it easily it also has a lot of measurements on it uh, it's got i don't know these are inch measurements i think on the corner so you can sort of rule use it as a ruler and in the middle it's got circular diameter measurements starting from 15 cm to 17.5 so you can get an idea of what size you're rolling out stuff like say you know what size your pie tin is and you want to make that final pie sheet on the top to cover it you can get a good idea with this and i saw a lot of reviews 
from just Indian housewives who aren't baking and they said they are actually making their rotis and chapatis on this also they've thrown out their what what is the base thing called the rolling board like I know the rolling pin but what's what's the bottom thing called I forgot but they've thrown that out and they're making rotis on this thought that this would be very useful and I purchased it I think that I will say bye to you guys for today I'm sorry that this wasn't the conventional kind of vlog but today's a slow day and I thought I'd do something different so basically I will see you guys tomorrow for day 30 of Floon bye this little nut found the bubble wrap and I think he wants to go under it go under it if you want Live your dreams. Be happy. This is some gigantic bubble wrap. These are really big. I wonder if they pop. No, they don't pop. Nope. They squish. But they don't pop. That is disappointing. And we have a larger audience here. Hi! You can't go in this box because there's stuff in this box. In the meanwhile, Thelma is just chilling under the bubble wrap. He's just having a good time. Good boy. Very good boy. <laughs>